Well, hello. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes to join me for some fitting words for troubled times. The person I want to introduce you to today is a man by the name of Grant Osborne. Now, he's more of a contemporary than some of the previous men that I've talked about in this series. In fact, he passed away just about a year and a half ago at the age of 76. Yeah, I never had the privilege of meeting Dr. Osborne in person, but I interacted with him uh, on a good level through a number of his books. And especially he has a book on Bible interpretation called The Hermeneutical Spiral, a great work there. And then a number of years ago, I was studying a, kind of a difficult passage in the book of Matthew. And he had written a commentary on Matthew's gospel. And I really interacted with that commentary pretty deeply and I really began to appreciate uh, Dr. Osborne's treatment of the text and how he very pastorally and winsomely laid out uh, his comments on the verses that I was studying. So it kind of surprised me to learn uh, at his death when people began to write some tributes uh, about him that he actually dealt with chronic illness his entire life. I never knew that about this man. His, his winsomeness and his graciousness and joy with which he wrote I would have never uh, gathered or be, been able to piece together that he had some difficulty his entire life. He suffered from chronic asthma, and he was commenting in another one of his uh, books on the, on the book of Romans. In Romans chapter 8, the verse, I believe it's 26, that says, The Spirit helps us in our weakness. And he wrote a little biographical sketch there just talking about some of his weaknesses in his own life. And he recalled that even from about birth, he was dealing with this chronic asthma. He shared about how there were a couple of summers in his childhood where uh, back in the day, maybe the, the, uh, the way to treat asthma was to stay indoors. And so his doctor kind of erroneously told him uh, to not go outside and be exposed to the pollen, but to stay in the home. And he said what that ended up doing was actually closing him up inside of his house with a, a family member who was a chain smoker. <laughs> so he was kind of uh, jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire to do that. But nonetheless, he struggled all of his childhood years and then all of his adult years with this asthma. He said he prayed uh, his entire life to be healed of it, uh, but the Lord never healed him. Uh, the Lord left that uh, that struggle on his life. But this is what he said, uh, commenting about the Spirit of God helping us in our weakness. He said this, What I do know is that physical weakness made me who I am today. He said, This bout with asthma and my physical difficulties shaped my life for the best. And then he used a great phrase at the end of all that, just summaring, summarizing his years and his difficulties in life. He said, God knows what he's doing even when we don't. You know, what a great challenge from a man who struggled for seven decades with a difficulty in his life, but realizing God left that in his life to make him who he was and who he was to become. And then just in trust, he said, God knows what he's doing even when we don't. You know, how do you feel today? How are you processing some of the struggles and difficulties that we've been put in uh, just in these last months? You know, do you feel weak in it? I, I know I do, and I'm not talking about physical weakness necessarily, but, but being out of my element, out of sorts, out of my normal routine, uh, out of control, in so much as we feel like we actually have control, I mean, are we feeling a bit of a burden of weakness? Friend, do you know that God is using this time, even in our weaknesses, to shape us into who he wants us to be today and who he wants us to become tomorrow? What a great testimony it would be that coming out the other side of this, these lockdown orders and, and all of the difficulties and troubled times that we're living in right now, to come out the other side and for us to proclaim God did this for the best. He did it to work a good work in us and that we might even proclaim as Grant Osborne did looking back over his life, God knows what he's doing even when we don't. 
And thanks for joining me for a couple of minutes here to consider some, some fitting words for troubled times. I trust that you'll have a blessed week. Take care. Thanks. We'll see you next time.